What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to optimize League of Legends to the absolute max. Now, of course, you may be wondering why exactly are you optimizing League? Well, of course, it's not the most demanding game to run, but it is definitely a demanding game for really low end systems. So that's why this video exists. It'll mainly be targeting the lower end computers because that's where you'll need the optimization most. So before we even begin, it's obviously a very good idea to make sure that Windows is completely up to date and your graphics card drivers as well. If you know how to update them, awesome, go ahead, pause the video and do them now. Then simply come back here when you've done it. If you need download links, you'll find download links to the Nvidia and AMD graphics card drivers down below. Now, because we're working on a much lower end system, or at least I'm assuming so, it's a good idea to make a restore point here in case something goes wrong. This way, if something does go wrong and you can't figure out how to undo it, you can simply restore back to this point in time and everything will be undone, but we won't make too many huge changes to your system. Hit start and type in restore. We'll click on it, create a restore point. Then in here, simply locate and click on your C drive. Make sure protection is turned on. You may have to click configure first and turn it on here, then click OK and click create over here. In the restore point name, I'll be typing, say, pre-league or something along those lines so that you know exactly what this restore point is. And if you need to come back to it later, you'll be able to find it either by clicking system restore here and going back to it or from the Windows recovery screen if you can't boot into your computer. But again, we're not going to be making huge sweeping changes. This is just in case. So let's go ahead and begin right at the start. What we need to do is navigate into the league folder and locate the main program exes. If you know where it is, great, navigate across there. Usually it's in C program files or C program files 86. However, if you don't know where it is and you have multiple drives, simply click in the top right over here to search for league client and hitting enter, it'll search all of the drives on our computer looking for this specific program. If you're quite a computer nerd, you may enjoy downloading a program called Everything. This program just makes finding things a hell of a lot easier. You type in a query and poof, everything shows up basically instantly. Either way, when you find the leaguecliant.exe, either using a program like Everything or inside here, simply right click it and open file location, or in this case, open path. When you do so, you'll see something that looks like this. This is the games folder where all of the important files are located. You'll see League Client, League Client UX, UX Render, etc, etc. What we're going to do is right click on LeagueClient.exe and then click Properties. Inside of here, head across to Compatibility and make sure that Disable Full Screen Optimizations is checked. Then click Change High DPI Settings and tick this box at the bottom, select the application, OK, apply and OK. Then we'll scroll up to the top and open up the game folder. In here, right click League of Legends, Properties and once again, Compatibility, Disable Full Screen Optimizations, Change High DPI Settings, tick the box, Application, OK, apply, OK. Awesome. Now, keeping this game folder open over here, we're going to tell our computer to use the best graphics card we have available. If you're on a laptop, then you may have a dedicated graphics card or something else may be limiting power settings to it. We just want to tell Windows to run this on the best available GPU and or settings. I'll click at the very top here and copy the path that we're currently in with Control C. I'll hit start, type in GPU and open up graphics settings. In here, I'll turn on Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling, scroll down to Graphics Performance Preference, and select Desktop App from the drop-down. Then click Browse, and inside of this window, click at the very top, paste in the address we copied, Enter, and we'll be taken back to this folder. Select League of Legends, click Add, and when it appears on this list, click Options, then High Performance, and Save. This way, it's telling our computer to use the best available GPU in our system, which is incredibly important if you have a dedicated graphics card and an integrated one. This is more common on laptops. Hit the back button in the top left and then click Home. We'll then be navigating into the gaming section. In here, under Xbox Game Bar, make sure that this is turned off unless you specifically use some Game Bar features. Then on the Game Mode tab, make sure that this is turned on. When you've done so, we can now close out of this settings window. I'll get into a bit of Windows optimizing now, but if you'd like to see a super in-depth video on optimizing Windows 10 and or 11, you can find a link to those in the description down below. Let's quickly touch on some more topics before we actually get into the in-game settings. 
So first of all, if you're on a laptop, it's highly recommended to use an external monitor to actually play the game on. This way, if your laptop doesn't have a switch, a physical piece of hardware inside of it, to switch the actual monitor cable itself between your integrated and dedicated graphics card, using an external one is a surefire way to make sure it's running on the best available hardware. And of course, not being redirected through the integrated chip on its way out. This way you can get a couple of more FPS and it's worth a shot if you have one lying around. Though of course, not everyone's gonna have one. Other things that we all do have and access to for free are settings within Windows and how we use it. And of course, it's very good to have a clean drive when you're trying to play games as that can boost your FPS even slightly, especially if you're really struggling for space. Hit start and type in cleanup and you'll be clicking run as administrator under disk cleanup. Upon doing so, you'll see a pop-up on your screen. Simply select C drive, the one with Windows, and click OK. Wait for it to run through to completion. And now we can select all of the options on this list here to save as much space as possible. I'd recommend unchecking Recycle Bin as we can go through this manually later and clear everything out ourselves, especially if you may want to recover something. And thumbnails down here, I usually leave unchecked as it can take some time to generate thumbnails when going into certain folders. So those are usually the two that I leave unchecked. The rest of these are pretty safe to tick and you can hit OK to run through all of these files on your computer, getting rid of needless temporary files, letting programs use a bit more of your hard drive space. Of course, this can take some time depending on how much this is actually clearing out of your computer. Regardless, when it's done, it'll simply just vanish. When it does, you can reopen it and this time select a different drive if you have the game installed on a different drive. Then simply repeat the steps and wait for it to run through to completion. Of course, it's a very good idea to try and close as many background applications and programs as possible to get the maximum amount of resources available for the actual game itself to give you good FPS and performance. The simplest way to do this is to hit Control Shift and Escape at the same time to open up the Windows Task Manager. On the Processes tab, you'll see all of the currently running processes. You can sort by memory, CPU, and GPU to see what's taking up what on your computer at this current point in time. Try and close as many of these as possible to save yourself some extra resources that the game can use instead. On the Startup tab, you'll see programs that start up with your computer as enabled under the Status column. Sort by status and everything enabled, you'll try to slim down as small as possible. So most of everything here should be disabled. If you find a program that you don't absolutely need starting with your computer, right click it and then click disable. This way, fewer programs will be running in the background automatically, which means fewer for us to close. And of course, it'll speed up your boot time as well. If you're an advanced user, you can head across to the services tab and click open services at the very bottom, where in here we can do the exact same thing. Every service that says automatic starts up with Windows and we can sort by startup type to see things a bit easier. If you find a program you don't want starting up with your computer, you can right click it, click properties and inside of here change it from startup type automatic to startup type manual. This way a program or us will have to manually start this service in order for it to run in the background and use some system resources. Beyond that, there's not too much we can do to try and gain extra resources other than telling programs to use less directly. If you're a user of Steam, Discord, etc, etc, third-party overlays are something that can take away FPS, especially on low-end computers. If you're one who uses the Discord overlay, try disabling it and seeing what kind of performance boosts you can get from having it off. On top of this, if you're absolutely fighting for GPU resources, it may be a good idea to tell programs to use more of your CPU instead, depending on how you're bottlenecked while playing this game. A lot of programs like Chrome and Discord allow you to disable hardware acceleration, which means that games and everything will have more available GPU, as those programs will be using more CPU instead for rendering. Of course, try not to watch streams and YouTube videos in the background, but that of course goes without saying. And with all that aside, the final thing you can try and do on a really low end computer is temporarily disabling your antivirus and or the Windows antivirus that comes with your computer. This way you can gain a little bit extra performance, but usually antivirus software has game modes where it'll automatically disable itself while you're playing a game or at least run in a low power state. On some very low end computers as well, you may notice that window animations may drop your FPS. There's a way to turn these off and gain a little bit back, especially for the really, really low end. Hit start and type in appearance or just performance. We're looking for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. 
If we click on that, you'll see a window over here that we can simply choose adjust for the best performance. This will disable a whole bunch of options here that'll give us the best performance possible on our computer, even though this is very minuscule on higher end computers and even some lower end computers. I would highly recommend making sure you have custom selected here and check smooth edges of screen fonts as this makes things a little bit more easy to read than having this off. Clicking apply and OK will noticeably change what your computer looks like, but it is worth it as it can give you a tiny performance boost. Now, with the majority of Windows optimizations out of the way, once again, in the description, you'll find more in-depth guides with a lot more FPS to be gained. Now, let's quickly finish off with the game in Windows before we hop into it. Opening up the game folder that I just had open, inside of here, we'll navigate back and into the config directory. In here, we'll find game.cfg that you can just double click and open with notepad. You might have to right click and open with. In here, we'll scroll down to the very bottom, click the very end here, and then enter it twice to get to a new line. In the description down below, you'll either find some text to copy or you'll find a link to download a text file that has this inside of it. I'll copy it and paste it in here. Basically, it's from performance here all the way down to hacks at the bottom. This should net us a couple more FPS on really low end computers. Of course, if you don't like how the game looks after this, you are more than free to come in here and remove these or at least trim them down. Say you can enable grass swaying or FXAA once again, etc, etc. Now, scrolling up to the very top of this game.config file, you'll find a general heading that looks something like this. You'll find height and width listed inside of here. Simply make sure that these match your monitor's resolution. I have an ultra wide 3440 by 1440. Yours may be 2560 by 1440 or maybe 1920 by 1080. The width is usually the longer one if your screen is sideways. This is the resolution I'm currently using it at 2560 by 1440, 16 by 9, 2K. I'll hit Ctrl S to save this file and close out of it. That officially marks the end of optimizing League of Legends in Windows. From here, I'll actually fire up the game itself and we'll get into the in-game and in launcher settings. In the launcher itself, I'll be clicking the settings wheel in the top right and starting on the general tab, there's a couple of things we'll want to change here. On the general tab, you'll see an enable low spec mode button, which you may want to tick, especially if you're on a super low end computer. Then from close client during game, I'd absolutely recommend changing this to always to close the client in the background, giving your game a few more resources to work with. After doing so, we'll head to the notifications tab where we'll disable esports notifications unless this is something that you want. We'll head down to interface down here and we'll make sure to turn off enable HUD animations. We can also do this in game. Then click done and we're done with this setup here. Let's actually get into the game now. The easiest way to do this is to click play at the very top left, create custom, set a random password, confirm and just add a whole bunch of bots. This way, we'll also be able to see how our FPS is during fights. Clicking start game, what we need to do is pick any character on the list, lock in and wait for the game to start. Now, you can probably already tell that the game looks a little different to what you may be used to. There's still quite a bit of optimization that can be done. Hit escape and we'll head into the video tab to begin. Make sure that enable screen shake is turned off and that your resolution is set to the correct one that matches your monitor then the window mode on the right hand side should be set to full screen for the absolute best performance. Now, obviously going into the next section here, graphics, the lower you have everything, the more FPS you're gonna get. It's just how it works. I would absolutely recommend having the environment quality one setting higher than whatever you have everything else set to. So if you have it on low, set environment quality to medium. If you have it on very low, set it to just low instead. Of course, you can drop this later if you want more FPS. Either one will be setting it to low and environment quality to medium, just so that the floor looks nice and the game doesn't look too plasticky. Character inking is something you can turn off as it'll squeeze a tiny bit of extra performance out of the game. If you notice you're constantly dropping FPS while in combat, you may want to turn down the effects quality specifically and for just general FPS improvements, shadow quality is something you'll want to turn off. Scrolling down a bit further to advanced, the frame rate cap is not usually something you need to mess with. You can, however, set to whatever your screen FPS is, especially if you're trying to record and other programs are suffering. Usually there's very specific edge cases, such as your laptop using too much power or heating up too much. You may want to lock the FPS to something lower than you're actually getting. 
As it says here, uncapping frame rate may increase perceived smoothness of the game on higher end machines. The anti-aliasing option here you should absolutely turn off. It'll give you higher FPS, though it will increase jagged edges on corners, objects, and the rest inside of the scene. Wait for vertical sync should definitely also be off as well, unless you're specifically experiencing screen tearing with a top half doesn't always show up at the exact same time as the bottom half, resulting in your screen literally looking torn in half. We can click OK from here, as everything under accessibility, it doesn't really have an impact on performance, it's just about you, and the other tabs here won't really have too much that can help with FPS, so that's really about it here. Clicking OK, you'll notice that the game freezes for a couple of seconds, maybe a minute if you have a really bad PC, and when we get back it doesn't really look too bad at all. We can start playing, and things work pretty well, obviously because this is a relatively well-optimized game, especially for lower-end computers. Other than that, it's really up to you how you play the game. If you find it absolutely unbearable with certain settings off, turn them back on or drop them even further if you need extra FPS. My game is now running at about 220 FPS, which is really good for a 2K display. If I head into Options and drop the video quality down to very low, we're still sticking around the 200 to 220 FPS bracket. Let's go ahead and crank everything up to the maximum just to see how much FPS we could be losing if we didn't go ahead and optimize certain things in game. Of course, there'll still be some settings that I can't turn off as they were set up before I launched the game. With everything turned up to the highest possible on a 1080 Ti, I'm getting 170 to 180. So of course, there's not too much of a change here, but you'll really notice the change when it comes to super low end computers, as that's where there is the most to be gained. It wouldn't really be fair for me to draw comparisons between the current FPS that I'm getting now and the optimized FPS, as my computer isn't just low end enough to give accurate representations of the performance boost you're going to get. And a quick final note before I vanish, if you're someone who has multiple League of Legends accounts, Valorant accounts, etc, etc, maybe even Steam accounts, do check the description down below for a fast account switcher. It's even compatible with two-factor. It's an open source project and I highly recommend you check it out if you're one who juggles multiple accounts on any platform. So that's really about it. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobe here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.